Sunny FM News at 10. I'm Esther Ho. South Korea's deputy foreign minister was to have talks with the U.S. counterpart today to reaffirm their strong alliance and discuss North Korea's nuclear program, Seoul's foreign ministry said. The meeting between South Korean deputy foreign minister for political affairs, Lee Gong Su, and U.S. Assistant Secretary of State Daniel Russell comes to meet a mountain Washington Beijing row over an advanced U.S. missile defense system in a China Land Asian Development Bank. Russell arrived in Seoul yesterday for a two-day visit, becoming the first U.S. ranking official to visit the country since U.S. Ambassador to South Korea Mark Lippert was injured by a knife-wielding attacker early this month. Upon arrival, Russell said that he will have talks over the broad spectrum of alliance issues with Seoul officials. Almost one out of two Chinese tourists to South Korea visited the southern resort island of Jeju in 2014 thanks to the accommodated visa policy and expansion of direct flights and cheap cruise packages, the state tourism agency said today. A total of 6.12 million Chinese traveled to South Korea last year, up 41.6 percent from 2013, according to the Korea Tourism Organization, or KTO. Jeju Island saw a sharp surge of Chinese travelers, whose number jumped to 58 percent on year to 2.86 million, the KTO said. The subtropical island with unique cuisine, where several popular South Korean dramas and movies were filmed, has become a must-see attraction for Chinese tourists after it exempted visas for them and provided convenient transportation with the expansion of direct air routes and cruises. Unlike other parts of Korea, Chinese nationals can stay on Jeju without visas for up to 30 days. from the Busan School for the Blind, five officials from the Podori unit, and one policeman from the Dongne police station. The choir plans to prepare for various concerts in and outside of school by rehearsing every other Mondays for an hour and a half. An official from the Busan Office of Education said that it will report any bribery case to the law enforcement agency even if it discloses less than 1 million won in money or valuables. The Office of Education only reported cases to the law enforcement agency if an embezzlement or bribery case disclosed more than 1 million won in valuables or in money in the past. The reason for such decision by the Busan Office of Education is because the city of Busan has ranked 16 out of 17 cities in the integrity evaluation conducted by the Anti-Corruption and Civil Rights Commission last year. The U.S. Army has been considering Busan as the most likely proposed site for the Terminal High Altitude Area Defense, or TAHED, and is expected to cause a great deal of controversy in the city. With Busan potentially being considered as one of the THAD sites, local political circles had expressed sincere concerns about bringing THAD into the city, as the Korean government has not expressed its official position. Military's former second highest ranking officer, Su Kai Hao, who was 71, died of advanced bladder cancer that had spread throughout his body, according to the state Xinhua News Agency. A former deputy chairman of the ruling Communist Party's Central Military Commission, Su was the most senior military figure detained in a sweeping crackdown on corruption within the party, launched by Chinese President Xi Jinping. the 
weather. Morning skies will be mostly clear in Busan, Busan, Changwon, and Gaolam. A dry weather advisory has been issued in all of these regions. It is currently 15 degrees here in Busan. That's all for this hour's news. Thanks for joining us. Now you're listening to Busan EFM.